Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're up in North Jersey today in beautiful Englewood Cliffs, and we're taking a look at one of the borough's newest restaurants, Lefkis. This Mediterranean journey of culinary excellence provides a modern take on many traditional Greek favorites and treats diners to an elegant upscale restaurant experience. With two sister locations in Athens and Santorini, Lefkis is just about as authentic as you can get here in the tri-state area. Georgia Dumas is part owner of Lefkis, along with her cousin Tassos, the head chef. This is their first location outside of New York City in America, and they're ready to be the number one stop for Mediterranean cuisine in northern New Jersey. It's a brand new place. We're very excited. As you can see, it's a beautiful space. It's a brand new, and we're doing great so far. It's uh, Greek food. It's very popular. It's our first venue in uh, New Jersey. Uh, the rest of the restaurants are in, in the city. Um, and it's something, you know, brand new and exciting for us. So we hope we're gonna do well here. The name in Greek means white and how it came about. My first cousin was also the executive chef of this place. He owns four restaurants in Greece. When he was 18 years old, he first opened his first restaurant in Athens. And when he went to see the space, it was a beautiful space, and it was a huge tree in the middle of the space. And that tree, the name is Lefkis, which here is a cotton wool tree. So he fell in love with the tree, and he decided to leave the tree in the middle of the uh, property and have the chair to you know, sit around, and that's how Lefkis came about. Now the decor here is just wonderful. Tell me about its selection. The place, it was beautiful when we got it to begin with, but we gave it the Greek touch. You know, we light up the colors and everything, because Greece is all about beautiful colors, and blue, blue and white, the sea. Um, so we needed to light it up a little bit, but it looks beautiful as is. So to own a restaurant like this, you must have a great team. Tell me about the people who work here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to, to have a, a successful restaurant, you need three things. So as you can see, as we discuss about the place being really gorgeous, uh, the food is excellent, it's Greek, it's very popular, but to be successful you need a great team and that's what we have here. We have a team of Greek and non-Greek employees. They are actually working very hard to make success out of this place. I want to introduce you Dina, who's our morning manager here. She's from the area, she's also Greek and she's doing a fabulous job. Our staff is wonderful, from our management team to our servers to the back of the house to our kitchen staff. We work as a family, all together as one, so we're able to execute the best of the best. But I grew up in the restaurant business all my life, and then we were anticipating for this restaurant to open, and it happened to be Greek. And I walked in one day, and I haven't left since, and it's a wonderful experience, a great place to work at. I understand you recently launched new specialty menus. Tell me about that. So we've started with a business prefix lunch, which is three course meal, and it's great for the local businesses around here. Um, we welcome everyone to join us seven days a week. We have this luncheon, and we also have our dinner prefix lunch, which is compliments of the chef. So she chooses the items that we have on the menu, which will be seasonal. And we also have a brunch prefix as well. Lefkes is doing great. Growing up in the business, I've learned a lot, and I've learned a lot with a lot of guidance through ownership and through our great management team. So we've grown as a group completely and we plan on making ourselves even better. Another member of the staff, Yasinos, spends his time at Lefkis in the back of the house, and he's going to show us a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes by taking us to the kitchen and preparing a lavraki for us, one of their most popular fresh fish. So over here we have a lavraki straight from Greece. When the customer picks it up, we come over here and wait it. So that's approximately one pound. After this, we take it to the kitchen and we clean it up and ready for food. So over here we have the, the broiler station with fish. We put it in the broiler. As you can see right now, we have labraki cleaning. After that, we take the labraki, we have it over here on the cutting board, ready to clean it and plate it. You take the side bones and just making sure that the, the fish is fully cooked. After that, we just snap the, the head and after that, it just comes right off the bone. Making sure that we, no bones, here we go. So right now we're just getting ready for the customer. Over here we have the classic Lado Lemono sauce. It's one of the traditional sauces of Greek cuisine. A little bit fresh herbs, 
and a little bit capers. We serve with a grilled lemon and a nice piece of oregano. And after that, it's ready to eat. Ready for the customer. Now that we have a delicious dinner cooked for us, it's only sensible to choose a nice bottle of wine to accompany it. And Lefkis has many on hand to pair perfectly with all of their dishes. Yeah, the wine list is really large. It uh, consists of Greek wines and non-Greek wines, pretty much everything here that you wish to get. I mean, we pair wine sometimes with specific food, and we have personnel that already knows how to approach a customer and, and help them with their selection. Now, I see you have a large event space up here. How many people can you hold, and what type of parties do you have here? We can have all kinds of parties here, all kinds of events. Uh, as you can see, it's, I, it's a very large space upstairs, about 75 people. Uh, we have an extra room right next door. It can hold another 25 people. It's, completely private, um, and of course the main room downstairs. Menu is it's Greek, 100%. We have uh, f fresh seafood. Seafood comes here daily, we're very proud of it. Um, a couple of fish come from Greece directly, um, and it's pretty much all the, the Greek uh, basic stuff that you probably guys heard of, uh, like the octopus and the spanakopita, um, and lamb chops, which is called paidaikia, which is very popular in Greece. So Georgia, this, this looks great. What do we have here? Uh, let me start with the appetizers. This is the octopus, octopus salad, which is a great appetizer. We got large pieces of octopus in there, uh, together with onions and tomatoes and oil and vinegar. It's, it's really tasty. It's grilled, it's very tender. Mm, it's really very good. Very good. First time I've ever had octopus, very really? good. Really? Mm-hmm. Look at the rest of the stuff, oil and vinegar. It's not much that you need to put on, but it's 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 a great. Wow, it's, never knew it would be beautiful. that tasty. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. This is um, what we call moussaka croquettes. I'm sure you heard of moussaka, right? It's like the most popular dish. It's ground beef together with eggplant, potatoes, some feta mousse on top, feta cheese wow. mousse. So it's like a little topping. On top. It's a little topping on top, and it's really, really tasty, very tasty. This is... Um, a little crunch on the outside, yeah. right? This is great, I love it. So what do you have here? Here are what we call in Greek paidake, which is lamb chops. Okay. Very popular in Greece. I mean, lamb is as popular as beef or seafood. And it's cooked to perfection, as you can see. Decorated beautifully with uh, lemon potatoes. And I know our chef has been very creative here, making it look really beautiful with all um, the red beet sauce. It cuts really nice as well, which means it's fresh. It's absolutely fresh. And you look at it. I can cut it easily with a butter knife. That's like amazing. What's it like bringing excellent Greek cuisine here to Inglewood Cliffs? And that's one of the excitement we had about this place because it was the first place outside of the city. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought we were going to do well. We know the area is, is you know, ready for a, a Greek place like that, uh, and that on that level. Um, it's something that was missing here for many years, and I think we're just going to do great here. Tasso has been very successful in Greece and in Europe in general. He's also got an award for the third year in a row for being the best uh, chef in Greece uh, for modern Greek cuisine for years 17, 18, and 19, I believe. Um, and we're just very proud of him. Georgia, this food is fantastic. Thank you so much for having us here. And everyone should come out to Inglewood Cliffs, to Lefkis, to taste some of this great food. And hope you do. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back right after this.